Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a review of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. I picked this game up a couple days ago, spent a few hours with it. Now I wanted to give you my oh, honest opinion. Reach Nola. <laughs> yeah. But if the city is where you're headed, well, I suspect your story is just beginning. So this story takes place in New Orleans. Um, it's not just another zombie game. The story is done really well and in depth. Um, so far, I've enjoyed playing the game. Um, the task that's given to you by characters and the storyline just seems to be very smooth and everything applies to the storyline. There is a war brewing. The tower on one side, looming on the horizon, high and mighty, spouting their all for one ideals and shunning skin crawl with their horror show tactics. And the powder keg that's gonna make the whole city blow? The reserve. <laughs> I can tell by the So so far it seems like this high. game is based it's off of finding amazing. this reserve, which may or may not exist. Um as far as the action goes, the action is really good. Of course it's a VR game. Um, the zombies are very realistic and will come out of nowhere um, from the front, from the back, from the side. So it has a share of jumpy moments. This could actually be the PlayStation VR game that all VR owners have been waiting for. To get back and forth from location to location, you use a skiff, which is at uh, every location. It goes downstream. It's pretty simple. You pretty much just pick up the map and select the place that you want to go. Once you select that, the skiff will take you um, to another location. Every location I've arrived at so far has been done really well. Um, the graphics are pretty good, especially for VR, and nothing is just thrown together. All the scenery is pretty much interactive, and like I said, the story kind of guides you. There's not a lot of like running around, open space. Um, it guides you, but even though you're guided through this story, the action is really good, and if you do die, you will go back to the beginning. Not the beginning of the story, but the beginning of that chapter that you're on. So, you have to play smart, play uh, play very strategic, figure out what you're gonna do, be aware of your situation. Um, they give you a journal to also guide you um, on your next task, also giving you recipes for new guns, for food, for things like that to help survive along the way. Here you can see me with the journal out. There's no recipes at it yet, nothing to track yet, but it gives me my task of finding this guy through the graveyard. As far as the zombies go, um, they are mindless as zombies are supposed to be, but they can come in hordes at time um, and give you quite the scare and make it hard for you to get out of that situation. The controls feel very fluid, very done well. As long as you're positioned good in front of the camera, you seem not to have any problems as far as finding your knives or your guns or any other thing that you need. You carry a backpack with you at all times that you can load with material um, to get through the game. Moments like this in the game will give you quite a scare as zombies do tend to pop through doors or just come behind you. You always want to listen for noises. Thinking you hear a zombie that's, you know, in another room can turn around and be a zombie that's right behind you. Oh, I need a gun. I need a gun. I need a gun. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> As I said, there are a lot of moments in the game. As you go through the game, you run into characters that need your help. You can either choose to help them or not to help them. Once you do help them, they usually reward you with an item that'll help you progress to your story. the trigger. He was all I had left, but I failed him. I, I am so ashamed. Would you be willing to help me out? I just can't break myself to do it. I need someone else to end this nightmare. I will put him to rest. You will? As far as helping characters, you do have That's options. So you can say different things, which will change the story minimally. Not a lot, but you can call with different options. Uh, with this lady in particular, I needed something from her. And when I returned to her, I gave her an 
answered that she did not like. So in return, she did not give me the item. So be careful about being bossy and being, you know, smart ass to characters. Try to be nice and they'll usually give you what they promise. But at times, they will not if you rub them the wrong way. The tasks they usually give you vary between a range of things, whether it's to go get medical supplies, to kill someone, or just to get supplies for equipment that you need. Here I had to get supplies for a radio and it took me to a couple of different locations to actually get the radio to work. But as I said, everything that you do does not seem just random. Everything is storyline based. This radio played a key role in the me furthering the story. Here's the book bag that you carry with you at all times. Putting items in the book bag was easy. I found it very easy. You can either take them out drop them in the auto slot or you can just lean over your shoulder and drop them and usually it goes in your book bag like i said the controls feel pretty good it feels like the camera picks up everything really well and that is really well done Anytime I found myself not knowing what to do in the story, I could always, always turn to my journal to find out where either I was on the map or what task I had to do. I've also been using the journal to track certain items that I need to make, um, whether it's been guns or medicines or improved weapons of any sort. The journal is a very helpful item to use, um, but every task I've been given pretty much sends you on an adventure, whether that's climbing up the side of a building or whether that's breaking into something to get supplies. One thing about playing this on VR is, if you have a habit of getting nauseous with things, you may want to be careful as you move about the scenery. Falling from that side of the building made me extremely nauseous. Um, make sure you don't look down on things like that. Hello? Um, but like I said, as you go through the story, the story progresses pretty slowly, but it does keep Waterfall. you intrigued. What you do? Waterfall? That's not possible. Who is this? Who are you? Nope. Not falling for that. You alone? So when it comes to using weapons on this game, as I stated earlier, it's pretty easy to use. It's nice that you can keep your uh, extra magazines right on your tool belt. As soon as you reach down in front of you, I haven't had any issue with it coming up. Um, the guns are very realistic as far as loading them, as far as uh, cocking them, pulling the slide. Um, it, it's just very nice gameplay. Uh, this is one game where I'll say uh, VR kind of outdid itself. Loading the gun is realistic. Um, you can drop bullets out, you can drop bullets in. Um, and every gun is different, how you load it. Whether it's the shotgun and you have to flip the barrel down and load. Um, shooting the guns, putting them in your holster, the amount of guns you can carry, it all gives the game a realistic vibe. And also make sure that you play strategically. You can't just run around with a million different guns. I think you can carry the smaller ones in your backpack, the bigger ones you have to carry on your back unless you carry it in your hand, but the guns also do have a realism to them. As far as shooting a shotgun up close, you'll usually miss because the zombie's very close to you. Um, me personally, you can shoot the guns from far away, but this is my preferred method of killing zombies just because I don't want to waste any bullets. As far as finding bullets, it does not give you the Resident Evil treatment. You're actually able to find bullets pretty easily throughout the map. Um, I have had not ran out of bullets in any situation except for the very beginning when I was a little careless and was passing by ammunition that I ended up needing. Here once you get back to your base you can improve on any weapon or make any type of supplies that you need. The bandages that you carry is really nice. Putting them on is just a matter of wrapping your arms back and forth using the controls um, to heal yourself. But you have to be careful with what you heal yourself with as well as what you eat for stamina. Those are the two bars you run with, a health bar and a stamina bar. Eating things to get your stamina up can also take your health down if it's old or it is um, um, not a good food, nothing that's fresh. Because a lot of things you find are canned items that's been around for who knows how long and it will actually tell you it'll be minus health but plus stamina. So you have to watch it as you go throughout. Here I'm tracking making this 30 revolver um, with my journal. So as I go through the map and pick up items, it will tell me exactly what I need, what items contain what, such as what metals, what woods, um, gunpowder, things like that. So far in the game, I've been picking up all items until I fill my backpack up and then returning back to my base to drop all my supplies off in the crate so that my backpack is not full when I go back out. 
um it's a lot of things that you can make um which has been enjoyable but as you can see here when i started saving this video clip most of the recipes are locked until you progress throughout the game you will need better weapons bigger and better weapons as you go throughout the game here's a broken revolver but it tells me what it contains as far as metals as far as frames gunpowder things of that nature so like i said i've been trying to kind of picking up everything right now um because i haven't ran into any items that needed really specific materials i'm pretty much getting metal and wood out of everything i pick up so i've been picking up everything on the trail um everything comes with crafting tips how to craft what to look for um and the game's pretty straightforward it's not hard to play it's not very confusing it's just a good storyline about survival and for that reason i would definitely recommend this game so far even though i'm only a few hours in i think this game would probably deserve four out of five stars as long as the storyline stays the same stays on track and it doesn't have you doing a bunch of mindless things that don't matter so if you want to play a good game i would advise you to head over to the playstation store and pick this one up this is really a good vr game that i would recommend to anybody other vr games in the past have not had good controls have been all over the place the storylines have not been good and usually i don't complete them this is one game i fully intend to complete and i've already started to load up gameplay on the channel if you're like me when it comes to playing PlayStation VR or any VR game and you find yourself getting a little nauseated, then I'd advise you to play in 15 minute increments and come back later on once you've kind of had the symptoms dissipate a little bit. Um, that's all I did. The first time I played it, I did get pretty nauseous. It wasn't just because of this game. I hadn't played the VR in so long. So after about 20 minutes, I stopped playing. I came back the next day, was able to play a little bit longer. And here I am in the third day. And it seems like I could pretty much play this game for maybe an hour straight without having any type of side effects. But the game is good. Maybe watch in the beginning, uh, running down straight halls. That seemed to bother me a little bit. Um, but as far as just looking side to side and things like that, the game played well. The motion was done well. You can also head over to the settings menu on the game and change uh, the nauseous setting um, to kind of make it a little bit better. Maybe change it for refuel settings. The game does come with that. So if you do all that, I think you'll be fine in playing the game. And once again, it is highly recommended. So this has been my review of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Hit that bell so you can get notified because I will complete this game and have more gameplay and more reviews coming up. So if you could take a moment to like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. But stay safe. And as always, we're out.